This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone in the house again man Back again with another video Hope everybody is doing okay Alright my viewers and subscribers So we have been talking about the, the, the T20 male World Cup right so we're going to be zooming in on what our female cricketers were able to achieve over there in um in Pakistan you know they were able to win that series so we're going to be looking at them we see sports max having a feature here on Haley Matthews so we're going to be reading that and um we're also going to be looking at what is happening um with the West Indies team over there in Sri Lanka so before we go any further, just going to ask you to go ahead and get that golden rule out of the way, which is to hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and also drop a comment. All right, so the article here says, win this woman all round Matthews on the hunt for consistency, right? And she relishes the new, new role. Um, the article starts off by saying, West Indies bats, um, batter Haley Matthews has targeted putting together a string of consistent performances with the ICC Women's World Cup qualifiers just on the horizon, right? They say Matthews um, has found, a uh, well, Matthews had a strong showing in the recent concluded tour against Pakistan, getting 132 runs in three games with an average of 44 in addition to, to that. You know, she also made healthy contribution with the ball, securing seven wickets. Yeah, man. Um, they said the 24-year-old has, however, managed to put uh, together standout performances before her career best of 117 in 2018 um, was, uh, was, was very good. You know, so they, they're just talking about that. Uh, she's quoted as saying, I think um, for me, it's going to come down to consistency. I feel like um, for a lot of tours, I, I have one big score or two big scores and then I'm probably dry for the rest of the season. Yeah, man, that is what she was saying. So basically, she's just letting us know that right now she wants to put together a good run of form, make sure that she's consistent. You know, she don't want to come and just score one, 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 one um, good century or probably a, a half century and then that is it. So shout out to Haley Matthews. Happy to see them featuring her. All right, so we're going to be taking a look at um, the, the tour itself, the tour in general, right? Uh, as, as we know, my viewers and subscribers, we, we, we won, the, we won the, the, the series 3 nil, right? And on the West Indies website, you know, they are shouting out to Stephanie Taylor, something else that I wanted to, to, to share with you guys. You know, this is what Stephanie Taylor achieved um, during that tournament. Um, they are saying Stephanie Taylor became just the third woman, woman in history to score 5,000 ODI career runs as she made a magnific magnificent seventh century to lead Wendy's women to a superb victory, right? And she scored 102 not out as the visitors, as that's West Indies, got 264 in that game. So that um, innings there by Stephanie Taylor, as I said, helped us to sweep Pakistan 3-0. Right. Um, and funny enough, the, the team was actually very, 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 very um, on the back foot early up, you know, and as one can say, she played a captain's knock, taking the team from from where where the team was to getting the team all the way up to 200 and odd. So, you know, I want to say a big shout out to Stephanie Taylor and, um, you know, want her to continue the form like this because going into the World Cup, it's going to be. It's going to be very interesting, you know. We want all our female female cricketers to really stand out. Another one, another player that did um, well also in that tournament there was Deandra Dutton, getting a century and getting some other valuable runs. Now, in terms of the ICC Women's Cricket World Cup qualifier, right? Um, twenty twenty one. The groups, Group A, we have West Indies, Sri Lanka, and um, Ireland and Netherlands. In Group B. Pakistan, Bangladesh, Thailand, Zimbabwe, and the USA. So once again, our group, West Indies, Sri Lanka, Ireland, and Netherlands. If we are able to put together a couple of good performances, then we should make it through that um, group okay. Right? The two groups that are, well, the two teams that are usually giving problem would be, um, you know, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the Australians. 
right? They are usually very good. So let me look at it again. West Indies, Sri Lanka, Ireland, Netherlands, Group B, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Thailand, um, Zimbabwe, USA. So I guess that, that is the is a qualifying um stage. Right, they, they go on to say the ICC Women's Cricket World Cup qualifier 2021 West Indies fixtures. Right, so we're going to be playing um, on November the 23rd. We're going to be going up against Ireland. Uh, the, uh, November the 27th, we'll be going up against Sri Lanka. The 29th, we'll be going up against Netherlands. So that is what it looked like, my viewers and subscribers. And then it will go down um, further. So we're definite, definitely keeping our fingers crossed that the females will be able to go out there and represent the nation well i mean the men played the other day and they did not represent us well at all based on the performances that we got from them so hopefully the women will be able to go out there and take care of business all right so just before i, I close off you know that warm-up game that was supposed to take place over there in um in in Paki, uh in sri lanka whole lot of rain based on what i am gathering my viewers and subscribers um, there isn't really anything much to report on, right? A lot of rain, a lot of rain. That is all is happening over there. I am hoping that, you know, this is the rain, this rain that is falling to won't go over into the test. You know, we want a couple of full days of test matches so we can really get a chance to see where the team is at. But, uh, yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, those are the two stories there that I wanted to zoom in on at the beginning. So what I want to finish off this video with now, my viewers and subscribers, it has to do with that same issue there with um with Jordan. You know, Chris Jordan um, play, and, and Jaffa Archer playing for England. A lot of persons are saying that they need to come home, they need to come and play for West Indies, or they are the ones that chose to play for West Indies. I'm sorry, they are the ones that, that chose to play for England. I agree, they are the ones that chose to play for England. But at the end of the day, my viewers and subscribers, we have to understand that we are fans, you know, we are fans. And we are going to say it's not only about money, it's also about um, service to country. It's about this, it's about that. But at the end of the day, you know, you, know, you don't know how long your career is going to last. And if you think this system is best for your development, or it is best um, to have my, 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 my family living here. A man is going to do what is best for their family, you know. You know, it might sound harsh. People might not like to hear it. But at the end of the day, we are not fighting World War I or World War II. So, you know, sometimes putting the country first, it's going to be very difficult for the, for, the, for, the, um, for the sportsmen to do that because we would have seen on several occasions you know, where people play um, professional sport for a couple of years and then they, they, they fall out and they basically fall on their face. And the government, and the government of the country are, are people of the region. They're not going to take up the responsibility. So it's so in a way, but it's the hard call. Fox, my viewers and subscribers, you know, um, on the other hand, it's very, it's very um, sad to know that you know the guys are representing um, England, and if they are, if they are going through what they, they they claim that they are going through, then you know it's it's tough luck. But at the end of the day, they chose they chose to play there, and um, I even saw in the comment section where somebody was saying that you know people, if we notice other 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 race married to their race, and we always run to to marry to to people of lighter color, but. At the end of the day, I'm my viewers and subscribers. If you if you if you find somebody and you want to marry, you know, that that shouldn't even really matter. It just goes to show that um, you know, we are still battling with this thing of people thinking they are better than 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 others and all of that. But you know, it is what it is. I mean, not only our type of people get criticized over there, are 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 get um, are get you know punished in in certain ways over in England because even more in Ali. Even more in Ali, um, because of probably because of his, his his religion, you know, he 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 wasn't treated treated um the best way, you know. Even the captain, when he called his retirement, the captain Joe Root came out and said that you know they might have not used him in the best way possible, but you know, um, they really respect him and he was a good sport. But you know, it is what it is, my viewers and subscribers. It is not a level world, you know. Here in Jamaica, they would say, "Donkey said the world no level," so. Just one of them things that you have to try and work through and, and live life, yeah, man. But go and leave this one right here, my viewers and subscribers. As usual, just let me know what you think down there in the comment section. Big up on yourself, my peeps. I'm out.